Okay, so this look evolved and it was part of the video that just went up and then it evolved again. So um, I'm talking specifically about the eye look and with the eye look this is the Hocus Pocus 2 and uh, started off this video it was going to be all a purple look out of these colors. Did the purple look and then the cheek look didn't look right with it so moved to the green and orange part of the palette and then started off with the classic green which is you seeing this as the base this on, on the lid and then um, uh, this in the outer corner and then I think that was about as far as we had gotten um, because I know that at some point we started going ahead and adding uh, this color over here um, right under yeah um, with this one it was actually we were using it right down here on the inner corner and then up Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I did go ahead and do a little bit different look. I actually had started off with working with the ColourPop Hocus Pocus 2. And I did a really cute look. Um, I used uh, this in the outer corner and then this purple on the lid, this purple in the outer corner, and this one was on the base. So this was right under the brow and right in the inner corner. This was base for the look. Uh, then this one was the, uh, oh good, the heater went off. Um, then this one uh, was actually on the lid and this one was on the outer corner. And um, it turned out as a really pretty look. And then I started to go ahead and do my blush. And I realized that I had gone in exactly the opposite direction for blush. Then, so I had a really, well, what I have found right now, which tends to be a really peachy blush with a really, really purple look. And it didn't look too good. So I went back and I redid it. And I went for my standby in this palette, which is to go ahead and use this on the lids. Or, uh, this is the base, and this is a matte with shimmer in it. And then to go ahead and use this beautiful shimmer all over the lid. Uh, this one is actually a duochrome, and it goes white to green. I don't know if you'll be able to see it there, but I did that right under the brow. Yeah, and right on the inner corner, so yeah. sort of more like this, and then some sort of out like that. So it's very, very shimmery. And then I went ahead and used uh, this as both my outer corner, and then I also used it as the um, yeah the eyeliner underneath the eye. So um, again, I had a really pretty purple look all set up. I went to do my blush and my bronzer and my highlighter and it looked exactly wrong with it. Um, so I switched back over to um, the what I consider the predominant look in this uh, one and it's going to be the green look. Wow! And I'm literally throwing my palettes around now. That's new. That's different. I haven't done that before. So, anyway, that's my explanation of how we sort of got to this look. So, this way that the eye look turns out. And um, as far as the mascara, what I did was I mixed the um, 
uh, Essence Lush Princess. This is a volume and curl, and I mixed it with the Sky High by Maybelline. Sky High by Ma Maybelline gives you a lot of length, and then this one is curl and volume, so you're kind of getting them all together. And if you want to go over to Ulta, they have these out in big bins, like each different kind. They have the False Lash Effect in this one. You could just take a grit handful of them you know and get as many as you yeah i thought that was a good idea and black friday did get me a little bit i did get the fancy mascara for half price so i do can in the full size so i do consider that having you know gone to black friday and at one point i was going to do all useful things i was going to get all my hair care at half price and you know that would just be the major deal and that would tide me over and so I did that and then the thought came this you know the sale only comes once a year there are so many palettes that I wouldn't even consider you know and so I should go and get stuff that I haven't ever tried before and I did some of that too and it worked for a little while and then the next thought that came to me was maybe I should stock up for the other people in my life, you know, people that, you know, need to those holiday gifts and things. So I did some of that. And um, it just, it really evolved. It wasn't just one thought process all the way through. And um, I kind of am looking at it like, yeah, I got stuff that I was really interested in. But I didn't get stuff that I felt like I was being told that this is what you're going to want to have on Black Friday. So I really came out of it kind of feeling like, oh, well, I did it. Yeah. It's my Black Friday because I've kind of followed, you know, what I thought was important in the makeup. So, um, yeah, I think it kind of was successful because of that. So um, now that my tangent has come and left and we're back here, we'll go on with the makeup. So I'm using the taupe brow, um, this is by ColourPop. It comes with a brow setter, setting lotion, setting whatever, that you can get this, um, this package for about $10 and you can get it on the ColourPop website. You may also be able to get it in Target um, at the, well, in Target now carries ColourPop, but they car carry ColourPop in the drugstore area. They are not in those areas where, you know, um, they have the big sign up and it says Ulta in Target. They're not in that section. They're over in the drugstore section. And I don't know why, because ColourPop is an Ulta, but that's okay. So, um, getting back to the beginning of, or what should have been the beginning of this video, uh, I went ahead and used the Kiko Milano uh, Lost in Amalfi as far as my, uh, yeah, this is uh, what I went ahead and used for my foundation here. And this is really more of a serum foundation. And there goes, yeah, the heating. So um, this is a really thin formula. Um, it's much more natural. It doesn't give you that really glowy, glowy look. Um, but uh, that's what I have on for my foundation. I hadn't used it in a while. It's from the Lost in the Malfi uh, collection. And I went ahead and used the uh, ColourPop Pretty Fresh uh, Concealer to go along with that. And then what I've been trying to do for a while now um, to get my blush to stay on my face is to go ahead and use like um, a cream blush. In this case, it's called Bare Skin. And that's what I used. And then I used a, well, in this case, I used two blushes on top of it that were powders. So I put on the Pixie one. Peach Parfait. So I put the Peach Parfait, pardon me, on top of that. 
and then that wasn't exactly what I was looking for. So I went ahead and added in the, uh, this is uh, Pillow Talk, and this one's by Charlotte Tilbury, so I went ahead and added that on. And I still wasn't finding what I was looking for. Doesn't that sound like a song? Yeah, a really famous song somewhere. But anyway, I can't help it. I've been watching everybody doing YouTube impressions all day long, and it's just, and it wasn't a very good impression, but I can assure you I probably won't be trying those again. Anyway, this is one of the highlighters that I used, and um, this is the Hollywood Super Glow, yeah. Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter, and it's all pink, and everybody said that you never hit pan. Yeah, I 